hair like a quick video on border folk studio max it's a um quite a new uh max script came out this week in january 2017 so just having a quick look at it and then in the next video i'm going to show how you install a macro script as well because it's not it's not the same procedure as getting a max script to run it's slightly different so we've got a editable poly here and i've basically made some holes in it so this is like quite a difficult concept to get to go. This has got curvature to go and follow as well as fill in. If you look at, um, I think currently um, there's a similar thing inside Modo apart from it doesn't follow the curvature, it just goes straight. So it does it does fill polygons, but um, doesn't do as good a job as this one in Max. So uh, what you need to be, it needs to be an edit poly, can't be an editable mesh and can't be a edit, modi, edit poly modifier has to be the base level of edit poly you're doing this in and you work it in vertex mode to make the tool work and it's up here border fill basically so you select a point you select another point along that border we're running and now you hit border fill boom it fills that border up how cool is that that's pretty cool isn't it just to prove that it actually works and it's not i'm not just basing that on an undo let's go here and delete some more polygons. Let's go around here. Around. So let's go and select all these. Yeah, it's going to hit delete on those guys there. Okay. And then I'm going to go and select uh, a point here. <coughs> and a point. Hold down control, select another point, and hit border fill. And that's gone in and give us new polygons. And they're definitely new polygons because they're faceted at the minute. It's not taken on the smoothing. As the other ones, so that's pretty cool, isn't it? If we go over here as well, let's go to this guy. Let's go and select a point again. I'll select another point and hit border fill, and that fills that. So that's how it works basically in point mode in edit poly, not in edit mesh, and not in the edit poly modifier. Other than that, it sort of works quite well. So, yeah, that will do that video in the next video. How do you install a Mac script to actually use this particular item? So let's go and do that in a minute. And let's hit stop on this one. That'll do. Right, see you in a minute. Bye.